Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another video. Today is a request from someone while we were on, uh, while, while I was streaming in chat, someone said, hey, why don't you do like your, your favorite bookmarks? Because uh, we were talking about me being a bookmark collector. Um, I have over 300 and if I'm honest, I, I, I can't pick like a top five. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to do a couple. I'm going to talk about the ones that, uh, that mean the most to me. Uh, at least right now, I'm sure there's some other ones packed away that if I open <laughs> them up, um, I'd probably either start crying or laughing or any number number of things uh, with regards to them. The first thing I'm going to start off with is a good friend of mine, Jen Bernardini, has sent me loads of stuff uh, over the past couple years. Uh, but this is one of those things, and it means the world to me because she made it herself. Uh, it's a bookmark, and that's her photography. Um, and it says on the back, uh, courage does not always roar. Sometimes courage is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Mary Ann Rademacher. Um, Radma Rademacher? I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, R-A-D-M-A-C-H-E-R. But yeah, so this one means the world to me. I don't talk to Jen nearly enough as I used to. Um, I, I'm not even quite sure if she's still doing the, the YouTube thing. I know the last one she did was uh, a review of Kari Mora, and she right off the bat said she didn't like it, so I didn't finish the video um, because I didn't want any anything to sway my read, but I will go back and watch it after I'm done reading. Um, but that's the last one that I saw. So, Jen, if, you, if you're watching this, um, I will try to catch up with you as soon as possible, if you will, because I'm a terrible friend, obviously. Shoot me a message over on Twitter so we can, you know, catch up and talk. All right, next up is uh, this one. This is One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. Uh, I got this because it, ca it came in a box with my oldest child's uh, Dr. Seuss subscription. We have a monthly subscription. Well, we had. We don't have it anymore because we now have all the books. But uh, the monthly subscription service, and it came with that, and that one just reminds me of my kids. So, uh, like, if I if I'm away from the kid, my kids for any uh, point in time, I'll take this with with me. Um, we don't do pictures like in the wallets or anything. We only do pictures on the the digital services or whatnot. Um, so there there's that. But you know, I spend most of my time reading, not on my devices. So yeah, I just look over at that and fun fun memories reminds me of them that kind of thing. Okay, so next up we have uh, this one, which is I found it on a tabletop at a Waffle House, and it reminded me of my father. Uh, my father had just passed away, uh, I think like three or four months before, roughly. Um, he, wasn't a, he wasn't a good guy, uh, and I have mostly bad memories of him, but he was half uh, Cherokee. Uh, Native, he was Native American, half Cherokee. Uh, his father was full-blooded. I'm a quarter. I know I don't look, look like it. Um, I have a picture of him somewhere around here. Uh, we don't look anything alike. I look like my mother. Um, but, yeah, and there's always jokes that I was the milkman's kid uh, growing up, so, uh, but anyways, um, yeah, this reminds me of the good parts about him, which is going out to the reservation, things like that. Um, I, I dearly loved that time in my life, the, the weekly trips we made out there to get his cigarettes and, you know, his alcohol and stuff like that, because it was so much cheaper on the res. Uh, so th there are some because the people there were so much nicer to me than the people just out on the, the street kind of deal. Um, they they were nicer, so that that's where I get the positive memory of my father. It's other people, um, you know, either related to him or uh, or just that knew him, friend friends of his uh, from the reservation. All right, next up we're going to talk about. Uh, if you don't know, I'm an author. Yay! Um, but sorry, um, but uh, this is the first time that uh, under this name, one of my books was published internationally. That's a Festa Ver well Festa uh, Verlag. I believe means publisher. Uh, uh, Liertes, let me know if I'm right. Uh, I think you said I was, but uh, yeah. So this is the uh, this is my German publisher for the uh, the Sound of Broken Ribs. I'm not even going to try to pronounce <laughs> the name. Uh, for it, because I don't know German, I don't know their pronunciation, I don't want to offend anybody. So, uh, but yeah, that's a little pig man. Uh, they do a, they do extreme horror and even some like they do. They also publish Dan Simmons um, and uh, Chuck Palahniuk, that kind of thing. That's a tongue with a. It's a very very sexy they a very sexy bookmark. But uh, 
they sent me uh, three or four bookmarks along with the package, uh, either my contract or the package of books they sent me. Um, okay, finally, I'm going to set these over here. Finally, I'm going to talk about, it is hot here, it's 109 heat index, and I can't have the air conditioning running because it, it literally growls. Um, so I'm in the market for a silent fan for the summertime, but the one, all the ones I find, they're just not worth the, the cost, I don't think. Finally, I'm going to make sure I don't show her, show her name, uh, but my grandmother, who is very important to me uh, growing up, she bought me my first electric guitar. She was the only one who believed that I would uh, graduate high school. I didn't, um, but she was the only one who believed I would. Um, she kept on. She always was pushing me to further my education, to read, to read, to read. To, even if I was going to quit, then I need to keep, continue on reading. She was a, a strong presence in my life, and I miss her terribly. She passed away in 2011, nine days before her birthday. Also in 2011, my dad passed away um, on Thanksgiving. He hated holidays, and I, I find that uh, interesting that he died on Thanksgiving in 2011. And then in 2012, uh, I started putting the final touches on my debut novel under this name, uh, Bay's End. So a, a bunch of stuff happened that changed my career, my life, um, you know, changed my family. Uh, all, all that stuff happened in 2011. So uh, when we went out to, to, to bury Grandma, uh, they, they said, you can have anything that's in her room. Um, they were just letting certain family members in, and they let me in, and I decided to pick this up because this was on her, her nightstand. It's a bookmark. Um, it's from uh, Daily Guide Post 2007. I think that's a, a Christian uh, organization or, or a periodical, something like that. And uh, it, yeah, it has, uh, it just has flowers, and then on the back it has her name. So. Uh, it, it was the thing that meant the most to me in that room. Of course, there was expensive stuff and all that, uh, all that BS. But this is the only thing that really meant anything to me. So I, I grabbed it. I figured let the let let the other ones have. A, I'm not too close with my extended family. Let the other ones have you know what they wanted. But yeah, so so that it's actually from uh, 2007. So I don't know why it was on her her nightstand for so long. But yeah, uh, this was this is very very important to me. And if I were to do like a top five or anything like that, this would be at the top, of course, uh, right next to that Native American one. Um, even though there's not, even though I just found the uh, the Native American one, I, you know, it, that bookmark itself really doesn't have any historical you know connotations for me. It just reminds me of my dad and how far I've come because he said I would never amount to anything. That was his number one thing while I was growing up. Why are you even trying? You're never going to be anything. And he, he kept saying that because um, he was never anything. You know, it's kind of like those guys who go, oh, that chick is just ugly after that chick's turned him down kind of deal. You know, you see someone else doing good or you, or you see something you want and you can't have, you're going to try and downplay or step on the person that, that's actually doing it. Um, or that's actually trying, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, this one's the most important to me because it's a positive memory. Uh, that other one just kind of makes me want to fight. Um, and fighting, the, the need to fight is a good thing. But yeah, so uh, this one's the most positive one. Uh, it, like I said, it's got her name on it, but I don't want to show the name because yeah, even though it's not my, my real last name, uh, people you know could, could look that up and hunt that down. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But uh, yeah, so do you have any special bookmarks? Uh, do you want to tell me a story about your favorite bookmarks? Any of that kind of thing? Or anything that has to do with you being a reader that means something special to you? If so, leave all that stuff down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been a bookmark video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!